If you think of drones only as killing machines, well, be ready for a tidal wave of new uses. They're already inspecting pipelines and windmills, helping with car accident investigations, filming wild car commercials, being used by journalists covering protests. They're even walking dogs. This quadricopter, sort of a four-bladed small helicopter, is a game changer for power companies. Inspecting electrical towers can usually take hours, workers climbing up and down and no shortage of danger. But a drone with a camera and one that can detect heat, a sign of potential problems, well, it goes so much faster and at a fraction of the cost. The neat part is that you get to play with flying robots every day. <laughs> Dave Croach left BlackBerry to form drone maker Arian in the sweet spot for Canadian tech, Waterloo, Ontario. Different customers want to do different things. The system folds and is designed to fit into a backpack. Arian sells to anyone, but major utilities are key customers. One of our customers in the UK had to turn the power lines back on. They had to check an insulator on the other side of a river. So they would have had to you know, find their way somehow to the other side of the river, be that with a boat or, or trudge through a forest somewhere. They sent a vehicle over, inspected the power line, flipped the switch back on all in half an hour. Unlike military drones, commercial ones rarely require a pilot. With a tablet screen showing a map of the area, users just program where they want the drone to go. It figures out how to get there. In short, drones are being used commercially for so much more than just inspecting hydro lines. Just what else? Well, it'll amaze you. Arion's drones have been used to monitor sea lion populations, even help chart a course for ships trying to break through to ice-locked Nome, Alaska. It was images from a drone which provided that vast sense of destruction for aid agencies rushing in after the typhoon in the Philippines. When Nissan wanted a commercial from a different perspective, drones shot it. Unmanned aerial vehicles are now being used in movies by Hollywood, grabbing shots they never could before or cutting down on expensive helicopter filming. Thermal cameras helped the RCMP find a disoriented motorist who'd stumbled far from his damaged vehicle. Using a helicopter would have burned up $1,500 of fuel an hour. The drone? It runs on a rechargeable battery. There are more law enforcement uses too. That same thermal camera tracks the heat of a suspect, reducing risk to officers, be they human or canine. If we can locate either an object or a person without having to send a person in um, and putting them at risk, uh, knowing where somebody is, and then we have that information, that's a huge advantage to us. It's just ready to go. So you just press OK launch. Oh, I'm going to get the first uh, OK, yeah, sure. Go for it. So and then you'll have five seconds to, to, to throw the plane. Then there's the new frontier, agriculture. Farming is a business where timing is everything and costs need to be controlled. We produce a system that enables people to get data, valuable data, um, allow them to make the decisions that they need to make on their crops or you know any surveying, surveying development stuff that they need to do. So what you're seeing here is, is the map of our location and the plane and the track yeah. of the, the... So this is just like a Google map basically yeah, exactly. off the internet. This drone skirting above winter wheat can help detect problems in the crop before they appear visually. It's basically better than my eyes. <laughs> Images from the drone show areas of concern. The black and blue here, well, that's a problem. Having the data is a big shift. No longer will farmers rely on past crop year's performance. Before we would guess what the season would do. We would put nutrients on assuming that the growing year was gonna probably be like it was maybe two years ago or whatever. Now we don't, we know what's gonna happen. Drones are getting more capable and less pricey. A&L Labs wanted to overcome the cost barrier, so it hired a starving engineering student to help build one on the cheap. This is something you built for how much? Uh, total part cost, 
fifteen hundred to two thousand. Fifteen hundred to two thousand. You compare that to and that's other, everything. Like, that's everything, everything. Absolutely right. everything, including transmitter, cameras, autopilot. Looks like we're good. All right, go for it. It'll ultimately sell for more, but the cost structure is right for agriculture, especially since drones will soon launch themselves, run independently, pre-programmed flights, gathering data and returning without any need for human help. For The National, I'm David Common in Waterloo, Ontario.